So do we need to supplement with vitamin C if consuming 20 to 40 grams of carbs daily, 5% calories, when the rest of the diet is beef, eggs, and butter? I don't think you need uh, vitamin C at all. I mean, we actually lost our ability to synthesize vitamin C many, many years ago, about 20 million years ago, actually. Anyway, so we lost the gene. And um, the reason I know this so well is because we didn't um, need vitamin C because LP little A is a much better way of fixing splinters in the arteries. And um, we lost the vitamin C because we didn't need it. And then what happened was about uh, 12,700 years ago, the Younger Dryas happened and there was a cataclysmic event and a lot of the animals died out. We started agriculture and we left all the good food behind and we started to get smaller and our brains got smaller because we started to eat lots of fruit and veg. So if you eat a lot of fruit and veg, you need a lot of vitamin C because of ferroreductase because that's non-heme iron, Fe3+, plus, the ferric form of iron, which is not bioavailable to humans. So if you're on carnivore, or keto, or only 5% of your daily intake, when you say calories, you could do it by weight. That would be a much better way to do it, to, to find out exactly what percentage you are eating. So that's what I would do. I'd look at the weight of your food. If 5% of your daily intake in uh, photons, and heat energy, is 5% of carbs, it's very unlikely you probably need vitamin C because you've got beef, eggs, and butter. So why would you need vitamin C? Because you're getting plenty of heme iron, the bioavailable form, and you're not eating many carbs. No, agree completely. And look, let's not forget that meat does also contain vitamin C, contrary to popular yeah. belief. Our requirement is far less than we're led to believe. And you fit the nail on the head. If we're not consuming as much glucose or plant compounds for that matter, then our requirement for vitamin C is considerably lower.